All right, we are live right now. I think we are live. As always, let me know if you can hear me, if the audio is loud enough, and then I'll wait for some people to tune in, and then we'll get started. Hi, hi Black Grey, hi Jacques, I hope I said that right, hi Yoni. Alright, good. So today I am comfortably behind the, the camera again, instead of in front of the camera. So yesterday's stream was completely out of my comfort zone. Um, I filmed myself and I tried something very new to me. So yeah, um, yesterday's stream was very much out of my comfort zone. So today I'm behind the camera again and I'm going to be working with colored pencils. Oh, hi, M1 Ger Garant. I'm so sorry for pronouncing your names wrong. Hi, Brit. So, I will be doing a Christmas ornament with colored pencils. You can see the reference photo on screen. And I'm going to try to, cre to recreate it as realistically as possible. You can see here that I've put down a roll of tape. I'm going to use this to just um, draw in the shape of the ornament. I'm not really good at freehanding perfect circles, so I'm going to use this for that. And then I'll be uh, doing the sketch and starting the colors. Let's see if I can find my sketching pencil. There it is. Oh yeah, I think in India it's around 1 a.m. right now. So very late for all my Indian subscribers, so sorry for that. Oh, Jackie. That's how you pronounce it. I thought it, it was um, a French name. All right, so I'm just going to get started. I have my Pentel mechanical pencil here. It's um, 0 0.3 millimeters and it has a 2B lead. And with this, I'm just going to trace this circle. I want to make it quite big. So let's place it around here. My sketchbook is from Hannemühle. That's a German brand. Let's concentrate a little bit. And I'm not sure how long this drawing will take me to do. But I don't want to make the live stream too long either, so I'll see if I'll be able to complete it tonight. And if you're watching right now, please say hi. Um, you can always ask me questions. I will read the comments while I'm working. And I'm going to try to answer as many questions as possible. I can see 77 people watching right now. Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. And the ornament is laying on some fake snow. So I'll be sketching that in as well. Just sketching in the shape.
and I'm going to try to walk you through the process as good as possible so I'm going to explain my techniques and my color choices Now hopefully this will turn out really well Hi Sarah, hi Justina, hi Ingrid, hello from Iceland. Oh, Iceland is definitely, definitely on my bucket list. I'd love to visit Iceland. Let's draw this um, thingy on top. It is kind of right there. I should have drawn this out before I started. So, carefully sketching. Is there sound? Can't you hear me? I hope you all can hear me. Okay, so my ornament is a little bit more crooked than on the reference, but I don't mind. And then we have the circle at the top. Right there. And let's define those shapes a little bit more. Like that. Using my knitted eraser to erase out the lines that I don't need. Let me know which country you are all watching from. Sally says, hello from my bathtub. Oh, hi. Thanks for tuning in. I always watch some kind of YouTube video when I'm taking a bath. I just have to look at something. So I hope you'll enjoy my live stream. I'll try to not spend too much time on this sketch. Want to make sure that I can go ahead with color pretty soon. Let's erase this. And I think I'll adjust the shape of the ornament a little bit. I'll make it a little bit wider. Because it looks like it's a little bit wider as well on the reference photo. So just going to adjust that line a little bit. And 
and then on the other side as well. have to concentrate for a little bit hi from Britain from Berlin from Hungary Alright, and now I want to erase these lines to be as light as possible because I will be going over with colored pencils and colored pencil doesn't layer well on top of graphite so I have to make sure that those graphite lines are almost gone before I go over with colored pencil otherwise it's just going to create a very ugly smudgy look and I don't want that. Okay. So now my line is almost gone. Time to go in to go in with some color. I'm seeing a lot of reds. So let's go in with red first. I'm using my Faber-Castell Polychromos and I will be using a white Caran d'Ache Luminance for blending, so for creating the smooth surface. Um, um, Windy Iris Art says do you take your own reference photos or is there a special website you can use to find them? Yeah, I do take my own references, but for tutorials I also really like to use the website called Pixabay. And on there you can find all kinds of illustrations and vectors and photos to use royalty free. So Pixabay is definitely one of my favorite re websites to find good royalty free photos on but i also like to photograph myself so i'm now going to outline again with this red and this is deep scarlet red really nice red color Alright, is Tiger Roar the only one who can't hear me? If you can hear me, please say yes in the comments so I know. <laughs> Don't take too long or I'll turn into a prune. I will try, I will try to be fast. But these outlines just need to be done so carefully because I don't want them to look crooked. Okay, so most of you do seem to hear me, so then it is a problem with Tiger Roar's audio. It's not a problem on my side, I think.
Okay, I'll have a look at my screen to see if my ornament is actually round. I think it looks pretty round. So I'm happy with the outline. Oh, I haven't say welcome. I haven't said welcome yet. Welcome everybody to the third stream. The third Christmas Advent stream. So this is the perfect way to get the hang of streaming, definitely. I'm already so much more comfortable with it than when I started. And we're only at day three, day three, day three, but I'm actually really enjoying it. Those shadows are really annoying. Let's see if I can change my lights a bit. Hmm, there's still a bit of a shadow. Um, Hannah says, where do you buy your art supplies? I ordered them online. I always ordered them online. I have a an online store that I basically order everything from. And that's a, 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 no, a German store. So it's not really useful for anyone who lives outside of Europe. But there's one German store called Gerstaker that um, I order everything from. All right, now I want to put in those leafy patterns. They are kind of goldenish, but also with, with some very bright highlights. I think I'm going to use a base layer of light yellow ochre to just draw in the shape and then I'm going to add in more colors. And I think I will be adding in those bright highlights with my white Sakura Jelly Roll pen later on. So I'm not worrying about the highlights yet. Just want to put in those shapes. I think I want to try to get rid of the shadow that my hand is casting. Otherwise you can't really see what I'm doing. Is that better? Yeah, I think that's much better. Or a bit better, at least. So there's one leafy pattern here. There's another one right there along the edge. Drawing in the basic structure first and then I'll be adding the leaves later on. You can't probably you probably can't see what I'm doing right now. I'm using a very yellow color, which is very similar to the color of the background, but I'll be adding the red soon as well. Then there's another one right 
there. And then another one here along the side. So a colored pencil needs to be built up quite carefully. Once you go to dark, you can't really go back. So I'm being very careful with the colors I put down. Right, so that is that one and add some leaves on this side I hope you all had a great day today today was such a dark dark winter day here it's been like raining all day it was almost too dark to film Um, Hannah says, Hannah asks, any proportion tips? Well, drawing correct proportions is really difficult and it needs to be practiced a lot. So if you're struggling with drawing proportions, I would advise to start practicing it at least nah, as often as you can, but every day would be the best and it doesn't have to be for hours in a row but just 15 minutes 10 minutes practicing your free handing will really improve your skills but of course you can also use grids you can trace those are all just ways to get your proportions down and I don't have anything against any of them but practicing your freehanding is the most important thing. Na na na, adding those shapes real quick. Um, Yoni says, maybe this isn't such a relevant question. But I'm so curious, have you heard about the war between PewDiePie and T-Series? And what do you think about a company getting the number one spot of subscribers? Actually, I don't know anything about that. I have stopped following PewDiePie a long time ago. And I don't know what T-Series is as well, either. So, I have no idea. But about the drama that has been going on on YouTube, I, I try to not focus on it too much. I still feel like YouTube w should be a way to educate and to be creative. And all those drama things are just not relevant. It is more than a meter snow in my town. Oh wow, that's a lot. There hasn't been any snow yet where I live, so I'd love to have some snow, but one meter would be way too much.
Can you see the yellow? I think you can see a little bit of it now, right? Um, hoi Nancy. Ja, tekeningen als deze zijn zeker een goede om mee te beginnen. Um, op zich is dit effect creëren wel lastig. Maar het is uiteindelijk een vrij simpele, sim simpele compositie. Maar ik denk vooral dat je moet beginnen met iets... Wat je heel erg leuk vindt om te tekenen. Voor mij zijn dat dieren. En dat is niet per se het, het, het makkelijkste om mee te beginnen. Maar omdat ik het zo leuk vind. Was het voor mij wel het goede onderwerp om mee te beginnen. So I might be getting some comments in Dutch. So I will be, I will be switching between English and Dutch. But... I'll try to um, talk mostly in English, so everyone can understand. Actually, it's really difficult to switch between two languages and drawing at the same time. That's actually really good brain training. I'm not pressing too much on my pencils right now. I just want to get a base layer down and I don't want to saturate the paper right away. So I will be able to add in more colors on top. T-Series is an Indian media company who is on the verge of surpassing Pewds in subscriber count. Oh, all right. I didn't know about that. Um, well, yeah, I don't know what, what to think about that. I don't think it should be a competition about subscribers. There are a lot of Indian people on YouTube. So, how many subscribers you have really doesn't matter. And I think, I don't think it should be a competition. And I don't think people should be angry about it because it is not relevant. Alright, last, last two leafy patterns before I move on to adding all the reds. I'm really looking at the shapes of those leaves, looking at my reference photo all the time to make sure that I draw them in the right shape, shape otherwise it will um, distort the shape of the whole ornament and I don't want that. I want those leafy patterns to add 
to the shape of the ornament. Yeah, exactly. Tiger says, I don't see what the problem is. People are subscribing to their channel because they want to see what they produce. Yeah, exactly. And I think PewDiePie can't complain about the amount of subscribers he has. If you were on a budget, what colored pencils and sketchbook would you recommend? Um, if I were on a budget, I would invest in good quality pencils because they make all the difference. I, uh, when I started working with colored pencils, I got the Faber-Castell Polychromos right away. They are expensive, but they make your experience so much better than if you were working with, for instance, kids' color pencils, because you can't compare the two. They, these work so, so well. So I would go for a small set of Faber-Castells. And then um, when it comes to sketchbooks, that is so personal. I started off with a Strathmore toned 10 sketchbook, and it was about six by eight inches, which is a five size. And um, I taught myself how to use colored pencils on that sketchbook and I really liked it. So that's the sketchbook I would go for. It is toned paper. But um, you can also go for white paper, of course. I think I'm also going to color in this top part with the same yellow just to give it a bit of a base color all right time to add some red so you can see three highlighted um, sections in the center three circular shapes that are a bit lighter than the rest. I will go in with the color of the outer edges first, then work my way towards the center. And I'm going to start off with, let's take deep scarlet red again. And with that, I'm going to put down a light base layer, making sure that I've erased all the graphite lines from what I've seen he's gaining followers because of the war between him and T-Series and before it happened he was losing a lot yeah so the whole drama attracts new people so that's the stupid thing about it all those drama videos are attracting new people and that's of course mostly kids and there are a lot of kids and younger people on YouTube but I feel that's a shame because there are so many um, more educative and interesting um, videos out there and why do people want to watch all those dramatic things?
And with the red, I'm going around those leaves now. And I can also adjust the shape of those a little bit more. The top is a little off-centered to the left. Um, let's see. Yeah, it might be. I think I'm going to um, adjust that later. So I am looking at my drawing from an angle. So uh, my, uh, my table is just flat. And I am sitting upright in order to not get my head um, in front of the camera so then drawing proportions right becomes extra difficult working in small circular motions It is lagging a bit. I do have some dropped frames. Now I'm looking at my a computer. So I don't know why that's happening because the first day there was nothing wrong with my stream. Now suddenly I have dropped frames. So I'm, I have no idea why that's happening. Maybe I should look at it tomorrow. But I really want to get this drawing done tonight. My bath water is getting cold. Oh, I'm so sorry. I would advise then to um, to go out of the bath and watch somewhere else. I'm really trying not to rush this, but I'm also trying to work fast. Tomorrow I want to do pastels again. I was thinking of doing the Northern Lights because I haven't drawn the Northern Lights in probably a year. And that is such a wintry, Christmassy thing to draw. So probably tomorrow I will be drawing the Northern Lights in pastels.
Yeah, let me know if you like the Northern Lights idea. Then I'd have to go look for a really nice reference photo to draw. Pastels are also a lot quicker than colored pencil. Usually colored pencil is taking a lot longer. I'm not trying to rush this, but I really want to finish this fast. It's exactly what I think when I have to write an essay and only have a day left. Oh yeah, that's so relatable. When I was still in school, I used to always leave my tasks until the very last moment. But somehow I always managed to pull it off. This leaf is very wrong. I need to adjust the shape of that. Oh, also I need to leave open that center area so I can put in those highlights later on. So that's so weird. So I had a lot of drop frames just um, a few moments ago. And now when I look at the connection, it says good again. So it's so weird. I have no idea why the connection is fluctuating so much. Alright, it's not lagging anymore now. I'll keep an eye on my computer. See how it's going. So could it be that if a lot of people are using the same Wi-Fi at the same time that the um, live streaming connection would be weaker than if only I was using it. Maybe that's the problem. Let's go a little bit faster now. What is wrong, Henna? That sounds very scary. Oh, thank you, Andrea. Still needs a lot of layers. All 
Are you sure it's not ketchup? <laughs> well, I really hope she wasn't serious. I still need to do the whole other side of the ball. Intense stream chat today. Yeah, it is intense. But I'm really having fun though. Although I hope no one's really bleeding right now. Also, tomorrow I might try to stream at another time, um, if that's better, not sure. Streaming at night is, for me, it's a really good time, but I do know that a lot of people are missing the stream right now. Let's get this other side in. Thank you, Dylan. I only have Faber Castell classic colors, but I've been waiting for Prisma colors. Yeah, the Prisma colors are wax based, and the Faber Castells are oil based. So the Prisma color should be working pretty much the same as the Caran d'Ache Luminance, but I've never tried the Prisma colors before. They are really budget friendly, I think. Yeah, you scared me, Hannah. But I'm glad you're okay. I really want to add in another color right now. I want to get in some more value.
right, final part before I move on to a different type of red. I have to draw around all those patterns. Oh great, someone was blowing their nose just outside of my workspace. I hope you guys didn't hear that. Hi from Finland. Oh, that's fun. Welcome to the stream. It's starting to look like something now. It needs a lot more color. So I think I'm going in with a more kind of dark purplish color just for the outside. I think I'm going to go in with middle cadmium red, which is a darker red, and let's see what kind of effect that gives. And with this I'm already going to burnish the colors a bit to get rid of the texture of the paper. I'm still working in small circular motions. <laughs> I'm not really keeping up with the comments, but it sounds like you're having fun over there. No, the one blowing my, blowing um, his nose was my dad. People tend to be really loud and obnoxious around here just when I'm live streaming. And my, uh, my workspace is not that uh, well isolated, so I hear everything. I hear, um, I hear workers outside, I hear cars, people cycling. people talking, I hear everything, and the camera picks it up as well. And I'm adding this red along the top as well. 
So I'm trying to recreate that round shape by keeping the dark colors around the outside and the lighter colors on the inside. Thank you, Draw Like Crazy. I like your username. Just that extra shade, shade of red adds so much dimension. Thank you. Yes, that's definitely true. When working with colored pencil, you need to use more different shades to create a realistic effect. Or that, that is with every colored medium, actually. Just using one color only will not make something look realistic. Or at least, it is all about the contrast, so the differences between light and dark is what's going to make a drawing look realistic. You can create something really realistic with only a grey pencil, for instance. So in that way, you don't need colors. But when drawing something like this with colored pencils, it needs all those different shades. Let's add it to the bottom as well. And it will probably become darker. There are a lot of different dark shades in this ornament. So I will also leave open some of the textures for adding some really dark shades. Let's see. And I'm still building this up gradually. So I keep working in these uh, circular motions in order to get the smoothest effect. Let's add some purple. Yep, I think I'm going to add some purple. Let's do... This really nice one. Middle purple pink. So along the outsides, along the edges, I see a bit of a purple hue. And I'm going to add that purple just around the outsides. And then later on when I'll burnish with the white corn dash, you'll see that that purple will appear. 
much more than it is now. Whoops. Don't want to go over the lines. how did you notice the purple yes that is just a matter of practice um, on my on the live stream itself when looking at that really small image in the corner you don't notice it but I have my image in front of me on my iPad really big and that makes it easier for me to notice all those colors but Learning how to do that, it's just a matter of practice. Work with colors as, as much as you can. Then eventually, you'll start to see all those different colors. Alright, let's add some really bright reds now in the center. Or actually, actually, I do see some purple here as well. Adding that in already. Like that. Let's add some, let's see if I can find a very bright red. So here I have light cadmium red. This is a bit more of an orangey tone and I think I'll need that. And I'll probably mix it up with some deep scarlet red probably. Or maybe this one, pale granium lake. Starting off with that one, with the granium lake. This is a lighter red, which is leaning a bit more towards the orangey side, I feel. Oh no, it's more of a pink, actually. I think it will go well with the orangey cadmium red. So I'm just carefully layering that in. Are you self-taught or did you go to, to drawing school? 
I am self-taught. I did about two months of art school and then I quit and I didn't really learn anything. So, and, and for the rest, I haven't followed any lessons or done any tutorials. I just taught myself. So I call myself self-taught. What sketchbook is that? This is a Hannemühle sketchbook. Um, I think it's called Kraftpapier, I'm not sure. And I'm not sure anymore where I got it. But I know that it is from Hannemühle. Do you guys have your Christmas trees up already? A lot of people in the Netherlands are now starting to put up their trees. I love Christmas. I have set my little studio tree up um, last week. And yeah, I'm a very big Christmas fan. Oh, I also promised to do a studio tour. Maybe I'll do a studio tour in a live stream this month. Maybe that would be fun. I think I want to go in with my cadmium red now, see what kind of effect that gives. Moving on to my light cadmium red which is very orange so i'm a little bit scared that it might be too orange for this drawing but let's see otherwise i'll try something else Yeah, tonight actually it is Sinterklaas in Nederland. It's a Dutch holiday. It's a kids holiday actually. And that is tonight. I don't celebrate it anymore because I'm not a kid. But usually here in, in the Netherlands we put our Christmas trees up after Sinterklaas is over. I think that's a little bit too orange.
Let's add some more. What time is it where you live? I know this sounds creepy, but I'm cre I'm curious. It is um 9:40 no, 10:45. No, it's 9:45. Oh, that's earlier than I thought. So, I think I'll stream until about maybe 10 30 p.m but not any more than that otherwise it will get way too late so i'm trying to get this i don't think i will get it done but get as far as possible with it and then you guys have to let me know if you want to see me finishing it in another stream or if i should just finish it behind the scenes i think i need another pink a brighter pink now Let's go for this one. This is Pink Matter Lake. And I'm going to fill up these highlights with it. which looks really weird right now. And then with another color, I want to create the transition between the pink and the red. And let's do that with not sure what kind of color I want to go for. Let's go with Pale Granium Lake again. Oh, it's 343 in South Carolina oh so this is a good stream or a good stream time for those of you who are from the US or at least from that part in the US Yeah, it's so cool that 
I have subscribers for, from so many different countries and continents. I think that's really fun. Hi, Emperor Eternus. All right. Do you like how it's looking so far? I'm not incredible, incredibly happy with these highlights yet. They need to be another tone. I think I'm going to just go over them with this and make the tone a little bit more red. And then this whole area around the highlights need to be darkened up anyway. Let's go in with some darker red again. So here I have Alisarian Crimson. I don't think I've ever used this color. So let's see what it looks like. Oh, I really like this color, I think. So I feel like I'm missing some very bright reds in my stash. I don't know if the polychromos have them or if I should go for some luminance reds. But I feel like all the red tones I have now are very pinkish and I need a very bright red for this drawing. I think I need to go in with an even darker color. Let's go back to middle cadmium red again. Going to enhance the shapes within this ball.
A negative about this sketchbook is that the paper gets saturated quite fast, so I'm not able to add as many layers as I would want to, or as I'm used to when drawing on my Ken Son 1557 paper. Yeah, that's weird, right, Maria? I just can't find the right red. I'm just not sure why that is. I'm already streaming for almost one and a half hours. Time goes so fast when, when I'm streaming. I'm really having trouble with my words <laughs> tonight. Let's start adding in the darkest shades now. So here at the bottom and here on the right side, you can see a lot of darkness. And I'm not going to use any black, but I think I'm going for brown. Brown in combination with some Caput Morton Violet, one of my favorite colors. I'm going to add that in first. Let's see if that's already dark enough. Oh, good night, Brit. Good luck with your exam. The ball is starting to get a lot of depth now, so I'm happy with that. It's just a matter of continuing adding layers and more layers. Then I also have to complete the leafy textures. But I think I will save that for another stream or I'll just complete that off camera. It warms my heart to see the chat is becoming more and more like a community. Another pro of doing daily streams. Thank you so much. Yeah, I like to see that too. Because to be really honest, I have missed that kind of community feeling on my channel in the past years i never really felt like there was a community but 
doing these streams really helps and I really enjoy it. I do think I enjoy these streams even more than creating just regular videos. Because there's always some of some sort of a distance between me and the viewers when it comes to just uploading regular videos. So I am hoping that that community feeling is growing as I continue doing these daily streams. I'm really having fun with it. I'm really having fun trying out new drawings. It also really helps me improve. I do think I want to go in with a brown now. Let's see which brown I should pick for that. Maybe burnt sienna. Let's see what that does. Burnt sienna has a bit of a reddish tone to it. So it will fit the tone of this ball well, I hope. Yeah, I also like that you guys are talking to each other in the comments instead of just asking me questions, which I also like. So if you guys have any questions, I'm, uh, I'm always happy to answer them. But I also like reading the conversations. This drawing is taking so much longer than I anticipated. I haven't even done any burnishing yet. But I hope you guys like to see how I build up colored pencil drawings like this. I really do enjoy your streams. Before I started watching you a while back, I hated our streams. Oh really? Well, then I take this as a really good big compliment. Because I'm kind of unexperienced when it comes to art streaming or live streaming in general, so I'm still learning as well. I think I do start to like 
how this is looking so far. I think I want to add a bit more red and then I want to burnish this all. So let's see how far I'll come with this drawing tonight. Going in with deep scarlet red, I'm just adding some more red to the center area. Oh, good luck with creating your Christmas present, Monica. Thank you, Hannah. I don't really watch a lot of art streams, but I do watch a few, which are from Unmask Art from Will and Lockery Fine Art. Oh, and Aaron Blaze. Those are the three that I watch, and I really like all three because they interact so well with their viewers. And that's what I'm kind of trying to also do. Let's put some base tone on this thingy too. I don't know what that's called. The top thingy. Nelsie, oh, I'm so bad with your names. Thank you so much for joining the stream. Yes, I'm probably going to continue for like 25 minutes and then I need to go to bed because tomorrow morning I need to get up early again and do my Patreon work, film a tutorial for Patreon. 
this month we are drawing a horse in color pencil which is really fun but also very time consuming to film Alright, I think I'm ready now to do some burnishing. Bit more of this. And maybe a bit more purple. And now I'm taking my white corn dash and I'm going to focus mostly on the center area and I'm only going to draw around these, um, these patterns. So I'm going to focus on the red and not on the yellow and mostly on the center because when using the white I will lighten up the colors quite a lot. And I don't want to lighten up the outer edges because then I will lose the contrast. But using the white pencil will create a really nice and smooth look, which is exactly what I want. I'm working in circular motions again. Thank you, Justina. So although the color is not exactly the same as on the reference, it does create the same texture and the same kind of feeling. I just didn't have the right reds, I think. But I like this pinkish tone. using quite a lot of pressure on the pencil I'm always so scared to use that thing because it changes the colors. Yeah, that's true. It, it does change the colors and it lightens them up. And the more you use it, the better you will get to know beforehand what the colors are going to look like after using it. So now I'm so far that I know exactly what it's going to do. 
but that has taken me about two years. Alright, I don't want to do any more burnishing than that, or oh, maybe a bit on the outer edges to pull out that purple tone I put in earlier. Just a little bit like that. I do like the color, but I'm going to try to change it and make it a little bit more orangey, a little bit more red, because it looks really pink right now. I think I'm going for this one. Pale Geranium Lake, again. So, after burnishing, you have to be a bit careful because when you go over again with any other color, you will tend to create a streaky, blotchy effect if you don't layer evenly enough. So I'm really careful now. Working in small circular motions. That helps a little bit. I can make the tone a little more reddish now. Yeah, I like this. It looks amazing, thank you. Does the polychromos white do anything? Yeah, the white polychromos is less opaque than the white luminance, 
the luminance are wax based and the polychromos are oil based which makes the wax based pencils a bit more opaque a bit softer so I don't like the polychromos white for blending because it doesn't show up that well and the luminance just does a very good job at blending the colors together and after that I'm still able to go over again with the polychromos to hype up the saturation again Alright, 15 minutes of streaming left. I'm going to try to do as much as I can on the leaves. Um, let's add, let's add I'm looking for my nougat. There it is. I think I'll be using nougat and Burnt Umber, maybe a bit of Burnt Sienna too. Let's go in with Nougat first. So you see all those dark dots, dots on the leaves. So I'm going to just dot in my Nougat and recreate those textures. Monique what pencil sharpener do I use for this one I use the Faber-Castell color grip universal three holes and it works really well so that's what I use Let me know if you'd like to see another stream in which I'm finishing up this drawing. Let me know in the comments. Be very honest. Otherwise I will just complete it um, another time when I feel like it. Thanks, Maria. I'm not sure about the larger audience. I think I already have a larger, quite a large audience. When you look at my subscriber count, only not a lot of people of those subscribers are watching my videos anymore. And it, it used to be a lot more. But since I switched up my content, a lot of people have dropped off or they're still subscribed but not watching anymore so that is a bit disappointing but i'm doing the videos that i want to do now and i'm happy with what i make 
and I think that's the most important. Alright, so at least a few of you want to see this one finished in a stream, so I think I will be doing that then. Not tomorrow, tomorrow I want to do something else, but maybe next week? I still have a lot of stream days to go, so on a day that I don't have any inspiration, I will finish this one. I'm really just dotting my nougat onto the yellow right now. Oh, Yoni asks, which stream did you like the most until now? Well, I think this one, but I also really enjoyed finishing up the wolf because I just really like that drawing, how it turned out. But I really like this stream when it comes to the conversations. I think I want to go around those leaves one more time with red just to clean up the shapes the lines around them a little bit more so before I go I want to do some highlighting in this pattern because I really want to see what it looks like when I add the white gel pen to this so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now I'm using the Sakura white jelly roll pen And I'm going to create a highlights with that. So that's also why I really like this paper. Because it is toned. So adding white highlights will make the drawing pop so much more. Question please, I'm drawing skin with luminance pencils. I've done a lot of light layers, I can still see a lot of white specks of the paper. Do I blend with a white pencil? Yes, that can be a very good technique. 
Personally, I don't have any experience with drawing human portraits with colored pencils, so I take take my advice with a grain of salt. But yes, if there are enough layers on there and you still see the texture of the paper, you can go in with the white luminance. But make sure to draw to use small circular motions and to be really careful. Otherwise you'll create a streaky, smudgy effect. So to create a smooth effect, make sure you have your colors layered very evenly. And then go over with the luminance in small circular motions. I really love adding the white gel pen to my drawings or at least on drawings like this I don't use it anymore on my pet portraits when I work on white paper but on Tone's paper I really love adding the white gel pen I have to be careful to not overdo it though I don't want to make this look too white so it does need a bit more work but I think I'm going to save that for another stream Anna says, I'm not sure if I like that white highlight right now. I'm not sure either. It needs to be changed a little bit. So I can actually go over that white highlight again with pencil to change the color of that a little bit. Maybe I'm going to do that. Let's add some... burnt ochre. I do have to make sure that it's dry or maybe I should use another color. Let's do burnt sienna. With that I can tone down some of those highlights and it still needs a lot more work. I need to add more darkness in there otherwise it will just look weird
All right, I think I'm going to call it a day for now. I have done two hours of streaming and I really enjoyed it. This drawing is not finished yet and I'm going to complete it in another stream. But for now, I have to go to bed. I can't stop working on it. All right, now I'm really going to stop working on it. All right, bye, Hannah. Oh, Angela asks, will you also add some type of glitter to the gold parts or will you leave it as a pure drawing? I haven't thought about that, actually. I don't have any glitter at home. I wish I had, but that's actually a really good idea. Maybe I'll do that. I'm going to look around in the store, see if I can find some glitter. And maybe it's a really fun addition. I don't know, but good idea. All right, thank you all so much for joining the stream. I really enjoyed it. And tomorrow I'll be doing the Northern Lights in pastels, probably. So that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. And yeah, I hope I'll see you guys then. Thank you so much for joining and I'll see you next time.